Hello and welcome to the Computer Lab Vids YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to burn a CD or a DVD in Windows 10. Uh, the way I'm going to show you is purely for burning uh, data or photographs, documents, stuff like that. It is not for creating a movie. If you want to watch one on how to create a movie so you can play it on your TV, please do watch one of my other videos which I have done a full tutorial on how to create a uh, movie DVD for playing underneath your TV etc. Uh, but this one is purely for data. Okay so the first thing we need to do is open File Explorer so go down to the icon at the bottom open up File Explorer uh, and this will present obviously all your files that are on your uh, computer your Windows 10 machine at this point. Uh, the thing that's happened to quite a lot of machines that I've had a look at is that the um, CD drive or the DVD drive that's uh, normally listed on the left hand side uh, under what used to be called My PC which is now called This PC um, is now gone, it's not there and you can't see it uh, until you actually click on This PC icon uh, then obviously you can see the DVD um, which we need to send our files to so I like to, I'm going to show you three different ways how to burn the uh, documents or files across. So if you're not used to Windows 10, grab across under the top toolbar, drag to the right hand side and this will bring up, a, I'll put it as half screen size. The thing on the left, we don't want to see them, so don't click on them. Back down to File Explorer at the bottom, right click and then left click on File Explorer. This will open another window up. Again, if you're not used to Windows 10, grab hold of the top toolbar. As you see where my mouse is, left click and then drag all the way to the left hand side and this will create a half size window. So now we have two windows side by side. The reason why I like to do this is because I like to send my documents from my left to your right. You can do it whichever way you want. It's not really anything fixed. Obviously this is just a nice way of doing it so you can see what files you are sending across to your CD player or DVD burner or CD burner, sorry. So I'm just going to pick some pictures that I've got in my pictures folder and I want to drag them into my CD drive which is on the right hand side here. Um, so obviously I've got my pictures on the left but I can't see my CD drive on the right. All I can see is all the different drives that my computer thinks it can see. A couple of shared network drives, my C drive, uh, all in Windows 10 there. And like I said before in Microsoft in their wisdom they've got rid of my PC. They've now called it this PC. So anyway what we need to do if we click on where it says this PC where you can see my mouse hovering now. You click on this PC it will bring up a, a separate box with all the items listed. But what, what should be there is your CD or DVD drive which you can see my burning drive there for doing CDs and DVDs. I double click on there, it asks, oh, there's no disk in there at the moment, so I've double clicked and it's saying, okay, please insert the disk. So I can't open another window up um, at this stage, or I can, but I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm just going to show you basically a quick way of sending them files on the left hand window across to the right hand side. So select the files that you want. I'm going to select um, these eight photographs. Obviously, I'm going to send these to a CD for this tutorial. Uh, you might be using a DVD which can hold more data. Um, but make sure they can fit onto the drive is what I'm getting at. If you've got uh, too many pictures it will basically say it can't fit onto the CD or DVD drive. So left click and hold the left click on your mouse button. You can see there it's saying okay you've got eight items selected and then drag across to the right window and then hover over the um, your DVD drive. Uh, once you're in that section it's saying okay now you're going to put these files into this CD drive but I haven't got a disk in there so please insert a disk. So at this point I will insert a CD into my um, drive. Uh, yours might take a while, it might be instantaneous, uh, but give it a second to read the drive. You can see the little icon flashed up there just to show that uh, I've inserted a disk. It does take Windows just a second just to uh, access the uh, CD drive and just understand what it is you just put in. So now we've got an option here, uh, we can format like a USB flash drive and the description is self-explanatory on there. So we can save, edit, delete files on the disk at any time. This disk will work on computers running Windows XP or later called a live file system. And the one underneath uh, is where it's viewable on so your CD or DVD drive under your telly. Obviously if you're using an Xbox or something like that it should read it anyway but um, the safe bet if you're giving it to your mum, dad or 
family or whatever it be and they've got a separate DVD player you want to do it on the second one uh, so I'm going to do mine just because uh, I want to transfer the data from computer to computer I'm going to give it a name a disk title CD with pictures uh, once you've named it make sure you've selected your option that you want and then uh, go down to the next button at the bottom there just click next uh, and now Windows 10 obviously brings up the formatting box. You can see there there's a CD, 7.2 megabytes for the uh, size of the disk. If you've got a DVD in there, it will show it larger. And then it's just going to copy these uh, eight photographs across from um, my pictures folder onto the CD. So you see there that the eight pictures are now transferred onto my CD uh, in my DVD CD drive in Windows 10. Uh, and that's it. That's one of the ways to... Uh, do the uh, burning onto a CD uh, drive. So I'm just going to drag this across to uh, the right hand side here so you can again just see that the pictures I've sent across are the correct. So there's the eight images on the left that was in my pictures folder uh, and they've gone across into the right onto my CD drive. So when I eject the disk and put it back in it'll just open up the same photographs uh, and if you've done the photographs of data then obviously it will uh, just show up like I've just indicated there when you click on them. So that is my preferred method on burning a CD or DVD in Windows 10, but I'll just quickly show you the other couple of ways to uh, do this. So on the left hand side, we've got the File Explorer open. If you right click, once you've got a, a disk in there and then you can pin to start. So you notice it's not in my start menu at the moment, but again, make sure the disk is in so you can see the CD or DVD drive, right click and then pin to start. And then when I go back into the start menu, you'll notice bottom right hand corner there, we now have um, our DVD drive. So when we have the disc out, we can access the CD or DVD drive within Windows 10 anytime we want. Okay, so um, the other way to do is also you can pin to your quick access, which again brings it up into the top left hand side. Making sure you've still got the CD in at this point. It doesn't matter once we've done it, we've pinned the actual drive. So uh, as soon as we do that, uh, we know that we've got it in the start menu and we've also got it in our quick access menu for later. So we go back into, uh, I'll just close that down and just open uh, a fresh window again, eject the disk. So now you know the disk is out and I cannot see um, on the left hand side of the drive but I still have access to it in my quick access. If I double click on it, it's saying insert a disk and I've still got access to it And when I click on this PC which used to be my PC. Uh, and obviously if you go into the start menu, double click, it gives you exactly the same prompt uh, to insert a disk. Um, so this is the other way you can do to burn a disk. Just find the file you want, right click, go down to send to, and then send it to DVD or CD drive, depending on what yours is called. So that's another way of burning disks. So just to show you again, uh, obviously find the pictures that you want. I've got files, documents, I'll select the same eight ones. Uh, so I've got eight photographs selected and I've right clicked on the photographs and I go send to and click on the drive that you're sending to. Obviously I have no disk in uh, my drive at the moment but if you have a disk in or you insert the disk at this point it will then uh, ask you to format it. The other option is you can drag across into the quick access menu you just created. So again highlight the files that you want drag them across onto there, make sure you're dragging them onto the area you want and then just drop them into the folder. Okay, so that's it, that's the uh, full tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give us a like, any comments below and please do subscribe to my channel. It all helps in keeping my channel going. Thank you very much for watching.